Hello, and welcome to another EB Tresos video tutorial. This video tutorial shows you how to do task mapping. We take the example of mapping an RTE event to a task. The Application Can project is already loaded in the Project Explorer window. We have shown you how to import a project in our previous tutorial. Expand the loaded project. The RTE module contains the RTE events. Expand the RTE module. Now double-click to open the RTE editor. In the RTE editor, click on Event Mapping. The Event Mapping tab consists of Unmapped RTE and BSW events and Mapped RTE and BSW events. Uncheck the box to display all unmapped RTE and BSW events. Events shown in this list have their own executable entity. For example, Get Error Status Persistent Counter Value has an executable entity. Get error status. All the tasks configured in the operating system are available in the drop down list. We now map one of these above events to a task from the drop down list below. To do this, first select the event and then select the task. Clicking on the Map the Runnable Entity button completes the task mapping for one entity. Get Error Status is now mapped to the shown task. To map multiple entities simultaneously, hold the Control key on your keyboard and select the entities. Click on Map the Runnable Entity button to complete the task of mapping multiple entities. It is possible to change the order of the events within a task. To do this, select entities by holding the control key on your keyboard. Click on the arrow up button to move the selected entities to the top. The task mapping of all RTE events is done. Close the RTE editor. The next step before generating RTE is to run the Service Needs Assistant. Click on OK. Save the changes. Then click on Calculate Service Needs. Click on OK. The results view shows zero errors. Thank you for watching.